Ito na yung pinakamura smartphone na nareview ko. Seriously, I have reviewed a lot of phones under 5K, may 4K, may 3K pero 3,600 kasi yun. Ito naman 3,200 pesos lang. Ito yung difference mga 300 pesos, maliit lang. Bakit hindi nila mag 4K, 5K phone and things like that kasi mas maganda yung specs. Kasi guys, yung presyo ng 300 pesos lang, 400 pesos, for some of you guys, parang maliit lang yun, no? Isang baon nyo lang, isang aching nyo lang, may 500 na kayo. But no, a lot of the people out there, no? Every peso counts. 100, 200, malaki na yun. It really matters a lot to some of the people out there. And that's why this phone is valuable to those people. And I'm here to show them if the ITEL A60S is the perfect phone for them. Meron pa siyang 5,000 mAh of big battery, 6.6 inch HD plus water drop notch. Naka octa-core processor na daw siya. And what is this? Again? <laughs> Nagbe-break naman ng records itong si ITEL because the ITEL A60S 4G ay meron daw 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of ROM. Talagang 3,200 pesos lang. But yes, without further ado, let us unbox the ITEL A60S 4G. It's been since you're watching Unbox Ladies. Uh -huh. So yes, cover lang po siya, as you've seen earlier. A60S 4G, nakalagay. Simple box, I told po ay a combination of white and red. Ayun. So the unit I have here is 4 gigs of RAM na, 128 gigs of internal storage. And the color is Glacier Green. By the way, tatlo yung kanya colors. Meron siya shadow black and moonlit violet. Pili na kayo kung ano yung pinaka okay. And underneath, we're getting, look at this. Ganda na sticker. Timing specs are up. And the phone itself, ooh. Amoy, I tell. <laughs> yeah, boy. Could this be the brand to beat the iPhone? Because iPhone, I tell. Si murang version ng iPhone. But I am telling you, ah, huh? I am telling you. Eto po yung design niya. It looks really nice. Very flashy for a 3,000 peso smartphone. Medyo mo siyang iPhone, no? The shape, the sides, the back, even the camera module. iPhone na iPhone pero menen. Underneath, we're getting a lot of accessories right here. That's right, meron po siyang not a jelly case, but a hard case. Meron po siyang warranty card. Meron po siyang SIM ejector pin. Uy, may earphones pa na color red. Na meron din siyang microphone. Ito po yung kanyang charger. It is a... 10 watt charger at it is a micro USB cable. Okay, let's reveal. Now, tulad na sabi ko nina, mukha po talaga siyang iPhone yung shape lang ha. Hindi yung total na itsura niya is iPhone na iPhone talaga. It does resemble some of the features yung itsura ng iPhone, which is a flat back, flat sides. You got rounded edges right here at the top and bottom. Yung kanyang camera is, yes, ayan po, di ba? Very reminiscent of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Look at that. And what is that? It fingerprint scanner. Guys, another collectible tech. No, wala na ngayon. Iba, iba na kasi ngayon, guys. Hindi na uso po yung mga fingerprint scanner sa likod. And this one is placed not at the center or upper portion, but nasa loob po siya ng camera module. Ayan po. Ayan po yung flash. Mukhang dalaw na yung camera niya, pero malaking bilog. Meron po siya yung parang checkered ban tawag dyan. Na design or pattern. Pero sabi na ITEL, ito po ay inspired by streamer crystal diamond cutting process. It's full of extreme light in all kinds of angles. That's right, meron siya parang pa-diamond-diamond -diamond effect. Right there at the back, parang spades, no? A lot of spades at the back. By the way, ito po ay matte finish sa likod. Smooth po siya, hindi dumihin. Pwede siyang gamitin na walang casing, pero ito po ang itsura niya. Kapag my case. Nice. Madali lang po siya i-remove. Ayun. At madali lang siyang i-lagay ulit. But siya sa sides po, wala pong protection. Ganyan na lang po yung itsura niya. And by the way, may cutout siya for the headphone jack at the top. Masarap po siyang hawakan sa likod. Very smooth. Whether it be portrait usage or landscape usage such as this, masarap po maglaro ng games din dito habang nagaganyan ka lang. And easily, kapag sa malayo, very stylish siya. Mukha talaga siyang bonggang-bonggang iPhone. Kasi ngayon guys, uso na yung gritong itsura. Mga classmate mo, may mga gritong itsura ng phone, di ba? Huwag ka nang pahuli pa. Kung wala kang budget, ito na. Kasi gusto mo lang mukhang iPhone, no? Para in na in ka sa group nyo. Peer pressure? Hindi, <laughs> wow. Yung mga barkata kasi ngayon, naka-iPhone lahat or iPhone-looking Android phones. Tapos ikaw wala. Sabi nila, eh, huwag na natin sama si, ano, Jobert. Wala kasi siyang iPhone-looking phone. Ew. Google, marinig kita sa mukha eh. Pero joke lang yun ah. Huwag siya nagyayin. Ang mahalaga masaya ka. Ang mahalaga mabuhay ka na maayos. Oh by the way, the, the back is made out of plastic. Pati yung kanyang body plastic. It makes sense kasi nga glass is quite expensive. Pero kano to, uh, it means the phone is quite light. 
And thin naman siya, medyo thin na rin siya. By the way, uh, speaking of the sides, let us check out the buttons and ports. Power button right here, sa right side. Volume rocker sa taas niya. Sa taas ng phone, meron tayong headphone jack. Sa ilalim, meron tayong microphone, micro USB port, and the speaker. Sa left side naman is yung SIM tray. Na meron siyang dual nano SIM card slot plus a micro SD card slot for expandability on top of the 128GB of internal storage kung bibili niyo yung 1 to 8 meron pa siyang 64 gigabyte na version but i highly suggest you get the 128 gigabyte version para sa 2023 guys mas marami ka pwedeng download na apps hindi ka hassle lagi sa pag uh, check ng mga storage niyo oh by the way naka android s go pala to so it's not gonna be the full featured android version but it is a lighter version of android may mga limitations but ayun nga hindi siya ganun ka Stressful sa processor, sa GPU. In terms of performance for something 3K, okay na okay na siya. Yes, I remember yung mga 2,000, 3,000 pesos phones. Grabe ka lag yun. Hindi lang mabagal yung kanilang RAM, hindi lang maliit yung kanilang ROM, or yung processor. Feeling mo talaga ang bagal ng phone in the previous years sa price range ng 3,000 pesos. But now, ITEL is changing the game with their new phones na worth 3,000 pesos lang. Abot kaya... At marami ka nang pwedeng gawin ngayon. Again, these kind of phones, no, yung nagpa-provide ng 128GB, tapos medyo mabilis na rin yung kanyang performance dito, is a game changer for a lot of people who have only, yung budget nila is only 3,000. And by God, the performance is quite good for something this affordable. Wait lang, patanong yung ano, Antutu benchmark ka. Although hindi niyo po kayo yung mga latest versions na Antutu, we actually installed the version 8 here. 96,000 points sa Antutu benchmark is quite impressive. Ay, by the way, nakalimutan ko sabihin yung kanyang uh, display specs. O pala, 6.6 inch HD+, so that's 720p. IPS LCD display na water drop notch. 60Hz lang po ito. Huwag, huwag na po tayo maghanap na 90Hz dito sa range na ito. Wala pa nag-iba nagbibigyan niyan. Except si S23, di ba? S23. Parang sunod-sunod si ITEL ngayon. Parang hindi nyo pa ata narinig si ITEL before. Actually, isang phone lang yung nireview ko dati for ITEL. But now, this is the second phone this year. Sunod-sunod pa. They could be releasing 2, 3, 4 more phones this year na napakaganda rin ng specs at sobrang napakamura. Now, in terms of social media, no? Baka magtakayo, ay, sa nakita ko, Vins parang hindi siya super smooth as the ITEL. Pero kasi guys, 90Hz refresh rate yung display nun. So meaning, mas smooth talaga yung itsura niya. Dito, it looks like your traditional 60Hz phone. Pwede na to, kasi nga, before yung mga offerings nila other brands, sa gitong presyo, ay grabe kalag. Grabe kalag at ang hirap gamitin, ang sakit sa mata. But this one, I'm just cruising along, hitting likes like, no problem. Comment ako. Ayun na po, mabilis na po mag-comment. Share, oh, mabilis na mag-share. Hindi, big deal to ha. Hindi uh, ako nagiging sarcastic dito. It's, it's not OA po. Kasi po, sa ganitong range ng mga phones or prices, mahirap talaga makita ng something as functional, as performing as this phone. But of course, ito yung gusto naman laman ng ibang tao dyan. Yung mga gusto maglaro ng Mobile Legends. Here we go. Now so far, no, uh, because okay yung kanyang processor, Nakita rin naman ito sa ITEL S23 na okay na okay din sa Mobile Legends yung phone na yun. Now here, it's a toned down version of the ITEL S23. Pakita nyo, okay pa rin yung graphics niya, hindi ganun ka-dim yung display. Yun nga lang, napansin namin yung graphics niya ay kailangan nakasmooth lang. Feeling namin 30 FPS lang talaga yung pinaka-max niya. Pero nakapag-combo naman kami I think kapag ka nasa loob ng game, hindi mo ma-feel yung difference. Yun nga lang, kung nanggaling ka sa isang 60fps na phone, or phone na kaya yung 60fps, medyo mapabagal ka dito. But of course, you get what you pay for. Ang malaga na install namin to, and look at it. Parang wala pa siya ng problema, di ba? Hindi siya nag-frame drops actually. Dun sa clash, walang problema. Kaya lang, syempre, kailangan mo siya smooth sa graphics at naka-high refresh rate naman siya. Ayun o, no, napagka-combo pa rin kami kay Gushon, no? Di ba? Uh, actually, before, yung mga phones na ganitong presyuhan, hindi kaya. Even sa Android S Go, hindi kaya po ng ganito ka-smooth na performance. May mga limitations mo si Android S Go, no? May performance, network, battery limitations compared sa full-blown Android OS. Ayun. But it's nice to see na kaya-kaya niya po si Mobile Legends. And very playable naman siya when we're doing our testing. By the way, uh, Android S Go, ano ba itong Android S Go? Actually, pwede mong i-install lahat ng app sa Google Play Store dito sa Android S Go. Kaya lang, may mga limitations in terms of performance, network, battery. May mga features na wala din like yung picture-in-picture, picture, yung parang pwedeng delete yung tapos pwede mong ilagay kahit saan dun sa home screen, mga ganun. Tawal din yung split screen, multi-screen, kasi nahihirapan siya sa multitasking. Hindi naman matest dito kasi Android S Go nga siya. 
Pero in a nutshell, ayun po si Android S Go. Parang light version ng Android. Now in terms of Call of Duty, syempre nag-install kami ng ibang games dito. By the way, Unisoc Processor is something mahaba yung pangalan niya. Pero octa-core na rin to. Na compared to Mobile Legends, mas mabigat si Call of Duty. And ito po yung settings ni Call of Duty. Low graphics lang at high frame rate song available. Now, nung nag-play kami ng Call of Duty, napansin namin na kaya pa rin niya. Kaya niya maglaro ng Call of Duty, no problem. With some slight lags here and there or frame drops. Sa 20 to 25 FPS, mga ganun yung feeling namin. Mas maganda knowing your expectations when you're buying this phone. Kasi syempre, bumili ka ng phone ito, baka inisip mo na kaya niya mag-Genshin Impact, mag-Call of Duty ng sobrang smooth, or 60 FPS sa Mobile Legends. Hindi po, huwag mag po tayong uh, sobrang nag-expect, baka ma-disappoint kayo. Pero kasi ang mahalaga dito, napansin nyo ba, na dalawa na ang in-install na game dito, Mobile Legends, Call of Duty, pwedeng pwede na po sa ganitong presyo na mag-install ng maraming apps. Na hindi namin matest yung Genshin Impact, <laughs> hindi po siya nag-install. <laughs> Hindi niya po kaya talaga yung game na yun. Mabigat po talaga yung game na yun. And I think this processor siguro is baka hindi pa na-optimize talaga ni uh, Unisoc. That is why uh, hindi siya available for Genshin Impact. Ngayon po tayo sa kanyang camera, 8 megapixel yung kanyang rear camera. 5 megapixel yung kanyang harapan. Ito na po yung quality na nakuha namin with the camera. Unang-una, syempre, yung mga pictures ni Beng. Ayun, oh, diba? But yes, oh, lakas na natin ni Beng dito. As you can see, there's a beautification going on sa selfie camera. Ito may rear camera. Yan, rear yan. Mas sharp, no? Uh, kaya niya yung low light. This is a low light picture right here. Yan po yung kuha ng 8 megapixel camera ng phone. Iba rin dating. What? Kaya niyang kunin yung ganyan. Pero of course, guys, kailangan mo ng enough light to be able to get this kind of photo quality. Pwede, ang ganda ng camera. I was surprised, no? Pero syempre, iba pa rin yung details sa mga kuha mo sa much, much expensive phones. Look at this tree, di ba? Oh, panalo! Shot on iTel. Dito siya nag-shine, guys, sa camera. Wow! Look at this flower. It looks so nice. Detailed. Very punchy. Kaya sa low light nun siya, medyo nahirapan. Sa low light talaga. Ito yung masample low light pictures namin. Oh, medyo grainy. May green. May kunting noise po sa low light. Especially sa selfie camera, ayun. Ito yung sample ng video. Video's okay din, no? I would have to say, in terms of yung kanyang video, Basta outdoor, napakaganda. Yung image quality is very good for something this affordable. Very low light and talaga siya nahirapan na. Ito pala yung celebration namin, no? birthday celebration. Ni Kuya Jomel, shoutout kay Kuya Jomel. Happy birthday. But yes, meron pa siyang low light mode dito. Parang night mode data yun na. May pro mode pa. Panorama, may HDR mode. Portrait, video, 1080p, 30 frames per second yung pinapatas niya. And that, my friends, is the Itel A60s. Very affordable phone. It is only 3,499 pesos SRP. Pero po nakasale siya ngayon, 3,299 pesos na lang siya. Oh, by the way, check nyo yung links down below para sa voucher and freebies na pwede makuha nyo. Yung voucher, 100 pesos off po, no? At meron po kayong Itel na freebie na Itel N33 wireless neckband. Voucher and freebies is only available on June 15, 16, and 17 while supplies last. By the way, guys, meron siyang tatlong variant daw. 464, 864, at 8128. Check nyo na lang mga prices sa kanilang online store. Para sa akin, nag-shine siya sa kanyang camera. That was unexpected kasi nga, 8 megapixel lang rear camera. Napaganda nung kanyang image quality for the price. And of course, yung kanyang storage. Ang dami mo pwede ma-install na apps, games, and things like that. Very convenient na ngayon. I think overall, it's a good buy. Pero nga, if you want competitive gaming, meron po si Itel S23 4G. Dagdag na konti. You will have that performance. Pero kung ganun talaga yung presyo mo, uh, you're not expecting too much. Parang gusto mo talaga ng phone na matagal maubos yung battery, malaking storage, and things like that na convenient din. Your second phone, this should be it. The Itel A60s 4G. Check it out sa Itel, Shopee, Lazada, TikTok. And of course, meron din siguro sila sa kanilang offline store. Nakita ko meron sa ano eh, sa SM North Edsa. Check na lang kung meron silang Itel A60s 4G. For more murang phones just like this, mag-subscribe ka na. Hit the like on so that you don't miss any of my great content. It's Benz and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Woohoo!